gentlemen, here with Pac performance again. All right. Okay, Pac, tell me a little bit about the day. Today is Sunday, yeah. and we've been the whole week, almost the whole week, you've been in, on the uh, track. Tell me a little bit about what's going on. Um, I've been called the rainmaker this weekend because every time I tow out to race, <laughs> it, it starts to rain. So, um, the first, uh, oh, the second qualifier against Lokito this morning, we done the burnout, and as we reverse back, it started to rain. So we were rushing to try and get the run done. Unfortunately, George was a little bit early on the tree, but we lost that race, but the car was good. Lakito got lucky this weekend. He didn't make a single fast pass. Um, he got the win. Congratulations to the Lakito and the team, but they were lucky. Um, we're still now second round of racing. So for us, racing today has been really good. First round against um, the, the Camry, Captain Tweedy. There was a little bit of games on the start line. Uh, he rocked backwards and forwards and um, rolled out of the Christmas tree. We got the win. Car went down the racetrack. We didn't get a time, but it was fast. So um, next round in about an hour's time, I think, uh, against Damon Chin. So we're pretty pumped. The crowd is unbelievable. We have never raced in front of such a huge vocal crowd. Um, George was on the radio when he was in the car and he said, Rocky, I want to eat the steering wheel. Like, he's so pumped up, full of adrenaline. And um, we're trying to give the fans the best show we can, big burnouts, quick reversing, and hopefully tonight another win. So, um, yeah, it's been a good day. Hopefully you bring to uh, Australia a very good memory. Yes, um, I was very apprehensive uh, to come to Orlando to race. Um, until I met, until Rollo, Rollo from CFT, he opened the door for me, introduced me to Ozzy and Maria, and then took me around and showed me, introduced me to all the, all the races, and I, I was treated with such huge respect when I went back to Sydney, and I told my team, these guys are fantastic, I want to come here, and the, the rest is history, these guys have been awesome, all weekend, the fans, the spectators have been so awesome. Rematch, absolutely. December. We'll be back on the 2nd of December, I think. So, um, yeah, we're going to have a rematch. Why not? There's, there's unfinished business. I'm pretty sure Lakita doesn't want to take the win the way he did. His car was not running well this weekend. Um, I think they would both like to take the win fair and square, run right down the racetrack, and the car to the bottom, across the line first, takes the win. So, yes, he won this weekend, but I'm pretty sure that's not the way you want to do it. Perfect. Okay, uh, what is the, uh, now that you're very close, you're going to race Damon Shin. This is a brand new car. Uh, what, you, what do you think about that? Well, we're just going to run our race. I mean, we have to forget who we're racing and just make sure that we get the car set up for the racing, for the track conditions that we have. So um, it's starting to cool down now, so the car will make a bit more horsepower. But you've been doing some adjustment to the car? Oh, yeah, look, we've been adjusting all week. I mean, we've, we've really been stretched this week because we haven't had a lot of time to test because it's rained on Tuesday, it rained on Wednesday, it rained on Thursday, it rained on Friday. So it's really, really been tough. So we've had to make changes right off the seat of our pants, you know. So the more laps we get down that racetrack, the more information we gather, the faster the car's going to be. You bring t uh, three engines. Did you put a spare? Yeah, absolutely. We, we qualified with one engine and we put our race engine today because today is race day. Uh, we like to rotate the engines so that we don't put too many laps on any one engine. And we have a favorite engine of ours that we like to use on race day, so we've got it in there today. Pack. Uh, about, the guys can do it in about 25 minutes if need be. Um, back home we do it in 25 minutes. Here it's a little bit more difficult because we don't have all our tools and all our facility. And um, so it's, it's, a, it's been a little bit tough because we're in a different country. The toolbox we're using is not our toolbox. Everything's in a trailer, it's not in my transporter, so we've been, it's been difficult. But we're getting used to it and we're getting the job done, that's the main thing. You think uh, the weather tonight is going to help you? Hell yeah, uh, um, it's cooling down. I mean, we've been praying for these conditions all week. The crew, um, my sponsors, I've been backwards and forwards with them, all the guys from Microtech, from TurboSmart, Garrett, um, the guys from Mainline, we've been backwards and forwards and we're saying, guys, look, we're doing our best. It's, the conditions have been tricky, so we're, we're trying to get this car down that racetrack as quick as possible. And the more laps we do, the faster we're going to go.
Perfect. Thank you very much, Pac. I wish you luck, okay? So, send me a message to all the people. Um, all the fans, thank you very much for coming up and supporting us. We really, really appreciate it. Myself, the team, and my wife, Karen, um, she's been so busy with the merchandise. Yeah, come over, Karen. Um, the merchandise sales have been awesome. Um, I'm so proud to have everybody, the, the see people wearing our gear, and it just makes me feel really good that we, um, we are appreciated and we appreciate back. What do you think about this experience in USA? Uh, it's been amazing. Um, all the fans that are here, they've been so uh, friendly and welcoming. And like Rocky said, the respect that we're getting from everybody and the appreciation that we've actually made the trip has been fantastic. So thanks to everyone. Really keen to come back. And um, I hope all you guys had a really good weekend. I mean, the weather wasn't kind to us, but we had a really good day of racing. Um, and we just want to keep going and, and do it more and more and more. Great. You've been in the crowd that big before? Oh, never, never. Uh, especially How many people do you think is, is here in uh, no, Orlando Speedway? Uh, I would say close to 30,000, 20,000. Yeah, 20,000, yeah. Around 20,000 people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's fantastic. It's phenomenal. You know, the, the sport compact scene here is unbelievable. Um, it's to see everyone together and uh, just come together and actually enjoy the sport is fantastic. The, the caliber of cars is amazing. Um, to, we have followed a lot of these race teams for a long, long time, you know, through YouTube as well. You know, the way our fans have been following us, we've been doing the same thing, you know, for our crew to actually meet the other crews and the other drivers. That's been a dream come true for a lot of the boys. So, you know, as much as everyone has appreciated us, we've appreciated them opening up the pit area um, and welcoming the boys. So it's been fantastic. And definitely we're going to see you back in December, right? Yep, definitely. 100%. We will be here. All the boys will be back here again and hoping to do um, uh, another good job. So, How many friends or how many people you bring from Australia? Um, oh, I think there'll be a total of about 20, 25. Yeah, we have 12 in our crew and there's about another 10, 12 guys that have come here to give us a hand just to, because they love to. And then uh, I'm pretty sure there's a whole heap of Australians that are here as well that we probably don't even know about. Well, guys, thank you very much. It's a pleasure, you know, to have you here today talking to you. And you are so calm and, you know, I just, it's unbelievable. Okay. All right. But thank you. And this is what I have. See you on the track.